guys welcome back to my channel so as you can see there's a very different background to my usual videos but I have moved house I now I'm officially a homeowner which is crazy but that's probably why I haven't really been doing much of my YouTube and I think for the past sort of well eight months there's just been so much going on and yeah it just it wasn't like I didn't want to do videos it was just that there wasn't time and it just wasn't it wasn't right but today I woke up and I was like I'm gonna film with June favourites it is July tomorrow and I thought why not so I've got so many new things so doing this I was like oh I have tried to restrict it to sort of just June's favourites rather than just every favourites because we would be here for hours and I thought what I'd do I'd do like a clothing haul maybe next week because I've got so much clothing because it's summer now sort of and that just requires a whole new wardrobe and then hopefully eventually I'll do like a little home tour for you guys as yeah it's a it's a cute little house and we're so proud of it and I love it so I just thought okay for now this can be my filming space and we'll just see how we get on it might work it might not I might edit this and be like I hate it but I just wanted to make sure I did a video so I'm gonna stop rambling and just jump into my June favorites so if you want to see what my favorites were this month then just keep watching so let's start with base and we'll move to like skincare hair care that sort of thing the by terry celia rose brown serum in the sunny flash when i first got it i was like it obviously it's quite expensive i think it's around 50 60 pounds um and i think it was lydia millen that i was like she was like banging on about it and i was like okay like she always looks insane i feel like i need to purchase it and i got it and i was using it and i was like i don't know if I'm using this wrong or what I just didn't necessarily like super love it to begin with so I was like trying to use it in different ways and I found out ways now that works best for me so you have to ensure that your skin's like super moisturized and then I'd say like a pump and a half of this and just put it all over your face before you're doing like foundation and things works brilliantly because you don't have to wear foundation on top of it it's weird because it's like skincare it's like, it's like color corrects and it just gives you this sort of bronzed glow i either use it when i don't want to wear foundation i just put this all over my face i don't wear mascara anymore because i've got lash extensions which i love just you can see my body here just look at this and then i'm good to go and then now it's sort of summer you never really know in england but i think it's starting to be summer I don't really want to wear foundation just I don't I don't know I'm sort of like I think in summer I think you do need to sort of change up your makeup routine a little bit because it's just I feel like in summer it's okay to be more natural which I mean I know I always look natural so you're probably like what are you talking about but there's just something about summer that I feel like you don't need to be wearing foundation like you can thin it out a bit and you know show your freckles and show like your actual skin so what I've been doing is taking like half a pump of foundation, um, but I take a, a pump of this, like half a pump of foundation, mix it on my hand and then just sort of beauty blend it in and it just gives it like a little bit of coverage with this gorgeous glow and that's been one of my favourite bases for June um, and before, like this is, I've had this for quite a while now so I love it. The other favourite, which is just as, I, I love both of these just as much. It is the Vita Liberata um, Beauty Blur. So their body blur is like insane. I should probably include this in the video. Wait a second. So this is the body blur. Um, I don't know if I've ever spoken about this, but it's just in, like amazing. It does what it says. It sort of blurs out any imperfections like you can put all over your legs, all over your body. Just it like it gives you a filter i have this in the medium shade latte which i also have have that in the beauty blur so absolutely give this a try but back to my original point of the beauty blur this is like a newer release and 
Oh, it's called a skin tone optimizer and it's just gorgeous. And again, you can use this in a multitude of ways. So whether you wanna use it as your entire base, which is what I've been doing. So like I said, I've been steering away from foundation and just been going with something more natural like this. And again, it does what it says, it like blurs and it just gives you a little bit of color. I wouldn't say coverage, I'd say more color and just sort of like blurs the imperfections. And it's just lovely. So you can have it as your, what you're wearing instead of like a foundation. You can use it as a primer. So you can use it and then put foundation on top. I'd say give this a go. If you're, in, if you're not wanting foundation, you might not be wanting to spend 50 something pounds on the By Terry one. I think this was around 20 something. The Beauty Blur, Beauty Liberata, amazing base. I also picked up the, the Fix Plus Gold Light. So this is the one that's a Fix Plus but has the sort of gold shimmer in it, but it's not too shimmery. I think for summer it's just lovely. It does set your makeup, it doesn't keep it there for longer. It just sort of like melts all the powders down and just gives you this gorgeous, gorgeous glow. If you don't like shimmer, don't buy this one. Just get the plain one. Because you can use this like all over your body. I have used it on my decolletage and collarbone today and the lady was like so you can spray it on your legs for like if you're going on holiday um so i've used quite a fair bit and i've been using it every day and again you can prep your skin with this so if you sort of spray it before you do anything and then you can set it with this so i'm really happy with that but i haven't tried the iconic um prep one prep set and glow i think it's called so i haven't tried that so i don't know which one's better just because this was there and it was sold out for quite a while so i thought I'm not going to risk it. I'm going to buy it. So yeah, really happy with that. Another good summer product. Then I'm going to talk about like a powder. So I wasn't really a powder type of girl. I feel like I'm still not 100% a powder type of girl. I don't think you always need to wear powder. Um, I did find when I wore powder, it sort of just, it matted me out too much. Like it just gave my face just like one there was no like definition and there was no like glow. It was just very sort of matte and I just don't particularly like that look on me. I don't think it suits me. Um, and then Hourglass brought out this mineral veil and there's just something about it. It's not quite like powders I've ever used before. Firstly, the packaging is insane, but how it actually comes out is brilliant. It doesn't over pour because it's got like some of the holes are just like in the shape of a H, which is again, really lovely detailing. And then it comes out and then you can just sort of swirl your brush and so you're never getting too much product. It's never, you know, usually I put like translucent powder and it just is everywhere. And that just always used to put me off. And I really, really like this. Again, I can pop it all over the face. I say that I do want my makeup to last a little bit longer or because it's so hot and I'm thinking, okay, I have got a whole day out and I want my makeup to look perfect. Then I would just set my whole face with this, just in a big fluffy brush, just put it all in or maybe sometimes it's just the under eye and then I just get a beauty blender and I just sort of like tap that under the eye and let that set and I can brush away anything um, extra but yeah it just gives you like it does sort of give you a luminous glow which is weird because it doesn't have any shimmer in it but if you are a powder type of girl but you don't really aren't happy with your translucent powder at the moment or want a powder that you know maybe not working for your skin or whatever this give this one a go again I think it's like 30 something pounds but i love it i think this is staple now to have as a powder when i use it so yeah just thought i'd let everyone know that it's, it is really really good and that's coming from someone that doesn't would never usually wear powder my last base product is the charlotte tilbury beauty light wand i was umming ahhing about this for so so long because i have so many liquid highlighters like well i'm a bit excessive and everything i have way too many everything but I, I did it, I got it, and I'm so, I just love it. It just gives you this gorgeous, gorgeous glow that's like not too in your face, but it's like, it is there. I don't know if you can really see it on my face today, but it just it sort of melts into the skin and gives you that lip from within glow. And I love it. I think anything Charlotte Tilbury touches is like brilliant. There's another product that I wanna try of hers, the Flawless Filter that she's just released. But it's got the, it's got like a little sponge at the end and you sort of unlock that, you squeeze it and it gets the product onto there and you sort of just stamp it 
onto your face where you want it and then you just blend it in. I blend it in with my fingers because that's how I think it works best for me. Um, but you can do it with a beauty blender, you could do it with a brush. I just feel like in summer, again, like you just, if you want a bit of highlight, just dab it on, got your lashes on or put your mascara on and like, you're good to go. There is a contour one, so I just stuck with the highlight one because I just love highlight. I've got five, five lip products. They're all different prices and do different things, so I had to include them all. We'll start with a lip balm because I'm obsessed with it. It's the coconutbalm.com from Glossier. There was like a massive hype about Glossier when it was released and my favorite, my favorite, favorite product is this it's just such a nice lip balm it really does it makes your lips feel like super plump but it doesn't have any like tingling or anything like that, like that. I keep it in my handbag i've got another one that i also keep by my bed and it's just so lovely it smells insane it's like really thick and luscious and oh yeah it just if you're if you struggle with dry lips or you feel like you want a little bit more like plumpness to them then try putting it on before bed because i feel like i'll wake up and i'm like oh my lips look nice and i'm like must have been this. Now I'll put my more expensive ones in between. So I just had a bit of a Dior month, which is, you know, not always what I do. I don't always get crazy obsessed with one brand, but I kind of like saw one thing and then needed another and then it just got out of hand. But we'll talk about these two first. This is a lip tattoo in the colour Lychee and it's this gorgeous, well, it's what I've got on my lip today, but there is a gloss. It's like this corally orange colour. I don't know if you, how well you can see that. I think it's the formula that I love most. Because it is a lip tattoo, so a long way coloured tint, you forget it's on your lips, so I forget I've got anything on my lips. And that's what's so nice, because sometimes I feel like I'm steering away a little bit at the moment from like the matte, because I feel like you can feel it on your lips or it sort of breaks up a bit. And yeah, I'm just, I'm just steering a bit away from it again, because I think it's probably summer and I'm just, just not into that at the moment. I got this and I think this was part of their summer collection and it's just lovely. I pop it on, I forget I've got it on. It lasts for ages. I eat, I drink, I do whatever and it's still on my lips. I'm really, really happy with just how it feels. If you feel like you don't want anything on your lips, then give this a go. And to go with it, I bought the Dior Addict lipstick in the color White Splash. So it's basically, it's just a sheer like glow for the top of it and it's got these like tiny tiny little speckles of sparkle in it which don't when they're on the lips again it just makes them look like super luscious um and lovely and it just when it's on top of it it just makes it pop it just they just work well really well together and i feel like you can wear this on its own you can pop it on top of any other lipsticks and it's just like a gorgeous glow and just like the packaging is just insane the other dior thing i have is the lip maximizer collagen active so they say that if you use this for 15 days day and night it helps to re sort of restructure the lips and like helps increase the collagen of them and i do feel like i've got quite thin lips and i just wanted like a little bit of extra something because I, I loved how the coconut balm from glossier was making my lips look in the morning i was like oh i just want that throughout the whole day so I got one of these, I put it on day and night, I think I've had it, I must have had it for long within 14 days now, and it sort of like tingles, it's that sort of like mint, I don't know if remember, any of you remember like the soap and glory like ones that would like make your lips like huge because they were burning and stinging, kind of like that, but that doesn't, it doesn't hurt anywhere near as much. Um, and also because it's like a, it's more, they call it more of a treatment, it's less of just like a gloss, it's more like a treatment, but you can wear, wear it as a gloss. So yeah, I just really, really like that. And then my last lip favourite is the Kiko glosses. So I've got these in a couple of shades. This is the 3D Hydra lip gloss and I love them. I've, bought, I've told all of my friends to buy them and they have and they also love them. There's, I just don't think you can beat this. Like for the money, I think it's like six pounds got this in like three shades i think but they're all spread across everything i've got this is like a a nude one which is just like gorgeous it's not 
well, yeah, you can kind of see. Um, you can wear it on top of lipstick or on just liner. Sometimes just having like a liner and a lip balm is just lovely. So if you just put like a liner on, then this this on top is just gorgeous. I wouldn't say it's particularly sticky. So you can get ones with glitter. You can. I've got one that's like a different, a darker sort of shade, and I've got one that's like more of just like a um, non-shimmery more of like a pink lip gloss you like i said you can't go wrong and i promise you you won't regret it brow products they're a bit crazy at the moment so please bear with i'm growing them out a little bit so i can get them like reshaped and all gorgeous and lovely i've gone back to my precisely my brow pencil i think it ran out and then i just forgot to buy more of it i I went back to it and I love it. Like, it's just like it says, it's, you can be so precise, you can be them so natural, it's such a fine little nib at the end. It's like, you can just do them, you can draw them out, you can give your hair like strokes, comb them with like the brush on the end, and I just love them. And then I also invested in the brow conditioning primer. People were saying that this was really helping their brows grow out, and I was like, hmm interesting i want to do that so i went and got it and it's got like a little nib i don't think that's the right word but we'll go with that like this like got a few like spikes and basically what you do you twist once for each brow and you like you just prime them with it and you can do it at night time you can do it before you do your brows and my brows no word of a lie are crazy the rate that they're, gro they're growing so much around this bit and it must be this, like it must be. And um, I think it's got like vitamin E's and stuff like that. And yeah, I have seen a difference with this. So if you are trying to grow your, your brows out, give this a go because like I said, I've got so much hair crate, which I probably shouldn't be showing off, but I've got so much growth going on here because uh, I wanted to like thicken this bit out. And yeah, I think it's this. I can't, I haven't changed anything else other than buying that. So really happy with that there were all my makeup products and now i've got a few skincare and like a shampoo and a hair oil and all that good stuff i'm gonna start with the summer fridays jet lag mask this had so much hype on like instagram and youtube and things and i was like oh and then cult beauty stocked it and i was on a waiting list and i was like oh like i have to give it a try um and they even me like it's in stock so i ordered it and i think it was around 40 pounds everyone had just been saying how good it was so i thought okay well i'm gonna try and i love it i do love that i use it as i think they say that you can put it on for like 10 minutes and then you don't need to rinse it off you can just wipe it off or just sort of massage the rest of the product in but i've been using it as like a night a nighttime mask so i just lay it on really thick and you do get quite a lot of product because i've been using it every night and it feels like it looks like I haven't used it at all. And you sort of like put like a thick layer on, it's okay to use around your eyes. It feels like it's got like a bit of a minty sensation on your face. And then that sh sh quickly goes. But then as soon as you wake up, my skin just feels nourished. It feels like plumper. I just love it. And I love that it's such a multi-use product. It makes a really nice primer. I have really sensitive skin, which I think you all know. But I haven't broken out, I haven't reacted, I haven't had any rashes or anything like that. And it just feels super nice. And as soon as I'm like, oh God, like my skin doesn't look great or it looks dry or it feels dry, I pop that on. Similar to last night, I was feeling my skin and I was like, oh, like I just, I haven't been drinking enough water. And my skin was just telling me off. It felt horrible, it didn't feel nice. Put it on last night, woke up this morning and I was like, I'm gonna do a video. So yeah. It makes you feel like you want to film. So this is my best friend. And I've been using it with my boyfriend also because like it's a brilliant product. Although I should probably be more stingy with it because it is 40 pounds. So maybe I'll rein that in. A self tanning water. So I haven't really been, I'm not really into fake tan too much because I, I'm a bit lazy with it. I don't really have the time. If I do use this to this one, if I was using a fake tan, it was the Saint, the Saint Tropez one the one that we like you could wait one hour two hours or three hours and that was gorgeous it gave such a gorgeous tan color and um, so that was like my lady fake tan um which was brilliant but then i've been seeing people i think ever since coachella everyone was banging on the first isle of paradise product 
it's like vegan friendly, cruelty free, it's all organic. And I was like, oh, okay. So you've got light, medium and dark. I go for the, went for the dark because I am quite olive toned and this one was best for sort of olive tones. And then my friend went for the medium. It it's just gives you such a bronze glow. Like people genuinely think that I'm tanned rather than fake tanned. I think some of the criticism I've been having is the fact that obviously it's water, it looks like water, so you don't necessarily know where you've already sprayed it, but if you just saturate your whole body and then with a the tanning mitt just sort of like blend it all in, I don't think you can go far wrong. I haven't struggled too much with it. I think the only one time I did it without a mitt, but it does smell like biscuits. I was really upset. I was at my personal trainer and she was like, you smell like biscuits. I was like, oh, it's the tan. They've been selling it in boots. I think it's a third off at the moment. So I think it was 12 pounds instead of 18. You can't go wrong. My hair. So you can probably see it's a bit crazy at the moment. This is my natural hair. I'm trying to embrace my natural hair. It's a hard thing to embrace because it's so curly and frizzy and all of that good stuff. Um, I think when I was younger, it wasn't cool to have curly hair so I would do anything to straighten it to not have curly hair and that's just sort of stayed with me until recently where I was like oh, I can't keep using heat on my hair my hair was so damaged last year from me trying to go to a white sort of blonde and then my hairdresser at the time was just not looking after my hair so I've been trying to go back just to sort of my natural hair and embrace it a bit more. Um, this is still relatively new. This has been going on since Monday. Today's Saturday, so it's only been like five, six days. But yeah, I'm sorry. I'm looking at myself and I know when I edit this video, I'm gonna absolutely hate it. But ugh, just trying to roll with it and embrace the crazy curls. But it is what it is. So I'm looking after it a bit more. This product, coconut oil, such a multi-use product. I just keep it in my bathroom. I use it once, twice a week, just soak my whole hair in it. I don't really have time to put it on at night time and wash it off in the morning because I'm crazy working all the time. And I just don't have time for that. So if I know that I'm washing my hair that night, I'll coat it, I'll eat my dinner, I'll probably watch Love Island, and then I'll wash it off. I just feel like it's slowly rebuilding the natural, sort of moisture to it and making it a little bit stronger and yeah i think it's also brilliant when you're shaving your legs wax them with this on your legs will feel super soft and also just as like a moisturizer like if your skin is super dry whack this on don't put too much on because otherwise you will be slipping and sliding all over the place but yeah brilliant you can take your makeup off with it um i've just got a new set of lashes done so i was taking my old lashes off with it yeah brilliant just keep it in your bathroom it's good to go and it was such a massive jar i think it was on deal from boots so i just got that i suffer with psoriasis on the back of my neck anybody that knows me knows i'm constantly scratching my neck and it's been going on for years and i just don't like going to the doctors and then i finally packed up the courage to go to the doctors and they've given me some ointment for it but i was watching i think her name's nadia um youtube video and she said that she was suffering with some psoriasis on her neck and she started using this body shop ginger shampoo and it's all cleared up i was like oh my god i've never run to body shop so fast the next day i was like i am there you get this was a uh, I think it was like eight pounds, something like that for a 400 ml bottle. And it's brilliant. My head is so much better. Like, I don't get me wrong, it's not fixed, but it has only been maybe two weeks I've been using it. I'm not scratching it as much. I still do scratch it, but I have a bit of a normal back of my head and it's the best thing ever. And I love that it's just like a, I obviously am using an ointment for the doctors, but I do feel like it's this that's, making it better. So if, yeah, it says here it's for dry, flaky scalp, but if you are like a sufferer with psoriasis or anything like that, that's what I'm using it for and it's clearing it up. So I never thought I'd see the day of a shampoo that doesn't smell gross because they try and give you these gross shampoos to get rid of the psoriasis. Firstly, they don't work for me, but secondly, they were horrible. They were dry for your hair. I just hated them, hence when I went to the doctors. But found one so thank you Nadia and I hope this helps anybody else that suffers with anything psoriasis or any eczema or just a scratchy or dry flaky scalp 
this might work for you. Except for the body shop, the ginger shampoo. Well, game changer, life changer, whatever you want to call it. I also invested back in my favourite hair oil, the Botanical Shine Nourishing Hair Oil from Lizelle. I don't think you can beat it. I went, again, I ran out of it. I went without using it for ages and I regretted it. So I've repurchased it recently, um, maybe again two weeks ago. And it's just, it is just brilliant. It's got um, some Kalahari melon oil, coconut oil, radish seed oil, and it's just so lovely. It doesn't flare up my neck. You need one pump and that will do your whole hair. I think it's around 20 pounds or something like that. But it's it is worth it. It lasts and lasts and lasts. Um, and I just love it. I, I notice the difference when I don't use it now versus when I'm using it again. So there is no way before I start using this again, that I'd be able to wear my hair curly. Like, no way. So I feel like all of these three things have changed my hair game. But that's it. That is my May fa no, my June favourites. And I hope that you've enjoyed it. Um, like I said, thank you so much for continuing to be subscribed or continuing to watch. And yeah, hopefully next week I'll be back with more of like a clothing video as I've ordered way too much recently. And yeah, as always, thank you so much for your support and I will see you next week.